Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having another leak and that leak is um, we're looking at the airports of Zambia that were recently commissioned. We're looking at Kenneth County International Airport as well as uh, Simon Monseca Puepo International Airport in, on the Copa Belt in Dollar. So uh, as you can see we are in Lusaka at the moment and you're looking at uh, Kenneth County International Airport from above and coming to the bottom. So basically a few, uh, a few knots on this airport. This airport uh, started uh, construction in 2015, in June, and it was commissioned in 2021 on the 9th of August 2021. Uh, then other similarities again in comparison to uh, Simon Monsica Popo International Airport. The construction started in, uh, on the 25th of June 2017, and it was commissioned on the 5th of August, um, 5th of August 2021. So basically you could see that uh, that's very close. When it comes to uh, the budget, the uh, the construction of a uh, uh, Kenneth County International Airport uh, cost the uh, the Zambian government an amount of uh, three hundred and sixty million, and the construction of a uh, uh, Simon Monseca Pope International Airport was roughly speaking uh, four million dollars, uh, uh, four hundred million dollars. So the previous one is three hundred and sixty, which is uh, Kenneth County International Airport. And uh, Simon Monseca Puepue International Airport is four hundred million dollars. So basically, that's a very uh, uh, close tag over there. And other similarities again is you're gonna see the DNA of the two airports. Uh, looking at uh, Kenneth County International Airport, you could see the flyover bridges and the inside interior uh, seats and uh, the escalators. They're very close to those ones at uh, Simon Monseca Puepue International Airport. Looking at the flyover bridges as they uh, as they uh, as they go into the dropping zone, uh, then they shape up like uh, like horns of a bull. Uh, you'll find a similar characteristic on the infrastructure and the building of a Simon Monseca Pope International Airport. So those are just some of the uh, uh, the characteristics of the uh, uh, the buildings of the two airports. But when it, uh, you look at the budgets, you'd see that uh, the money that was spent on Kenneth County International Airport was only $360 million, whereas Simon Monsica uh, spent a little more, which is $400 million. And um, also, the Kenneth County International Airport has a hotel which is on uh, on the vicinity of the airport. Same applies to uh, Simon Monsica International Airport. Also, they have a hotel which is a 50 room, 50 room luxury hotel, uh, which is at the airport. Uh, looking at the distances, basically from the uh, Kenneth County International Airport to the city, it's about uh, 20 kilometers, which could, uh, which could take you about know, a 30 minute drive from the airport to the city. Whereas uh, Simon Monseca Pope International Airport in Dola also is about uh, 20 kilometers as well from the city to the airport, and that will take you up to 25 to, uh, to 30. So, in other words, uh, both airports have a distance of uh, 20 kilometers from the airport to the city. So, there's a few, uh, a few tags, a few uh, comparisons that one look at. So, now we're looking at uh, Simon Monsignor Pope International Airport from above. And you can see the, a characteristic of the, uh, of the building itself that is very close uh, to uh, Kenneth County International Airport. You're going to see from the flyover bridges the way they uh, unfold, like the homes of a bull. As you do your uh, your drop offs uh, to the uh, airport terminal, and then you drive off, then run back to uh, uh, the inner parking if you want to park in or if you want to drive away, and uh, go back to other uh, city. So uh, when it comes to where the airport is situated, uh, Simon Monseca Pope International Airport is situated in the northwestern area of um, Andola, which is the um, the uh, provincial capital city of the Copper Belt. So basically, those are some of the structures that you'll find at the new airport. And um, yeah, from, um, from the looks of things, uh, it's going to bring a lot of uh, uh, tourists uh, to the area of the Cobra Belt, as well as the Kenneth County International Airport is going to bring in a lot of people coming from, uh, from, from, from diaspora, from overseas and the neighboring countries. And it feels good, actually, uh, mostly for the Zambians that are going in and out of the country, that they're going to have to depart from a beautiful airport as well as a... Uh, uh, welcomed by a beautiful airport, whether they are landing in uh, from uh, landing in at, uh, at Kenneth County International Airport or landing in at uh, Simon Monsignor Pope International Airport. 
So that's how it looks like from above and those are the packings that you could see over there and uh, the signature flyover ridges uh, that are shipped as uh, horns of a bull. So uh, that's, what you, uh, that's what you see and um, basically that's what you expect to uh, see. And when it comes to the characteristic of uh, the lifts and escalators as well as the stairs, you see that they're very similar. Uh, they look alike, uh, you would actually assume like it's the same airport that you're flying in or flying out. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, but when you come closer and you look at the architectural uh, uh, character, uh, Ndola is a, a rectangular ship, uh, which is the Simon Wansakapoepoe International Airport, whereas the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport is uh, in a ship of, uh, of an eagle, uh, which is a bird. So basically, those are some of the, uh, the, the architectural uh, characteristics that you would see uh, in comparison to the two uh, uh, iconic and gigantic airports that were recently commissioned. And another thing is that uh, Kenneth County International Airport was commissioned on the 9th of August. Just to recap of what we said earlier, it was on the 9th of August 2021, whereas um, Simon Monsakapopo International Airport was commissioned a little bit earlier on the 5th of August 2021. And then the old airport in Dola, which was the previous uh, Copa Bells International Airport or Simon Monsakapopo International Airport previously, was renamed to Peter Zuse Air Force Base. So Peter Zuse uh, was one of the, uh, the great fighter jets uh, uh, pilots of the Zambian Air Force. So uh, it's actually so pleasing to see that uh, former President Edgar Chagwalungu had uh, named the old uh, Copa Bell Airport or, or Simon Wansakapoepo Airport as Peter Zuse uh, Air Force Base. This is um, it's so good because it shows that uh, he has been uh, highly recognized as one of the uh, good and best uh, uh, jet fighters, uh, pilots of Zambia. So that's basically what it looks like from inside at Simon Wansakapoepo Airport. And if you're watching for the first time, please consider subscribing, give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.